Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. But first, I want to tell you about my own karaoke titles toolkit. If you want to support my channel to keep getting free tutorials like this, you can also check and purchase other templates, which I have in my portfolio. Even if you will just click around my templates, it could help as well. And if you'll decide to purchase any of my projects, it will definitely help me to keep making YouTube videos full time. I don't have merch to sell. So it's the only way to support my channel. It would be awesome if you'll check first links in description. Let's get started. Also, I've included this Sonic trailer title template, which is available to download with the footage as well. I'm using Adobe After Effects CC 2015. This footage you can find in the description below. As you can see, we have this footage right here. And just me standing there. All this footage you can find in the description. So let's create new solid. Go to layer, new, solid. Let's call it missile and click OK. Then go to effects and presets and type element. Let's drag and drop on our footage here. Then go to effects controls and click on scene setup. So now we can click on this import button and import this rocket OBJ, which is also available in description below. So once we download it, let's open it here and let's drop some textures on it. So go to presets. I've used pro shaders also metal ones like this metal black chips just apply some dark textures and second one let's select it and go to textures diffuse channel left mouse click here and this texture you can find in description below as well let's open it and click ok also you can go to glassiness channel and normal bump and also apply this texture and then click ok so now we need to move it over open this world transform and click on create button now we have this null object Let's press return on keyboard and call it controller. Press R on keyboard to see rotation. Also hold shift and press P on keyboard to see position. And now we can just move it over like this. So in X axis I've set 666, in Y axis 154, and in Z space I've set it to 3442. And also let's press S on keyboard and change scale to 30. Let's press R to see our rotation, X rotation I'll set to minus 7, Y rotation to minus 157, and Z axis I'll set it to 40. So now as you can see it looks like it's flying into my face. Now let's create some light, go to layer, new, light. Let's set it to ambient and click OK. Then press T on keyboard and let's set it this intensity to really high value to see our white strip on the rocket. Then select this missile layer and let's apply some curves effect. Just tap in here curves and drag it up on our footage. And let's add some light, just make this curve right here. Then let's go to layer, new, solid. Call it fire and click OK. So for fire we are going to use Trapcode Particular. It's external plugin which you can download from description below. Just tap in Particular and drag and drop on our layer. Let's move our controller to the top, press P on keyboard, hold shift and press R to see our rotation. Now we are going to link our fire to our rocket. To see this particular effect the whole time, you'll need to click on this lock icon. Hold Alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on this position stopwatch. Now we can link this position to our controller. Just click on this pick whip and drag on top here to this position. Same we will do with our rotation. Hold Alt key on keyboard and click on the stopwatch and X rotation let's link in to our X rotation same with the Y rotation and same goes with the Z rotation just hold ALT key on keyboard left mouse click on the stopwatch and by this pick whip just link to Z rotation so now our fire is linked in to our rocket now let's work with the particles let's set particles per second to 50 velocity let's set it to 1500 these ones we can change to 0, 0 and maybe here let's set it to minus 84. Also let's set direction to directional and let's work with the particle look. Open this particle tab here, live per second let's set to one second, particle type to sprite and now we can change texture. This smoke texture you also can find in the description below. Let's drag and drop in our composition here, click on this toggle switch to make it 3D and click on this checkbox. We can disable it for now and now we can select this fire layer and change texture to our smoke. 
Okay, it's changed, but let's change our size to bigger value. I'll set my size to 44. Now we can see our particles. Size random, let's set it to 100. Open this size over life. Let's pick this preset right here. So it would get smaller. Opacity, let's set it to 70. Opacity random, let's set it to 50. And opacity over life, let's set it to this preset here. Okay, it looks good. Let's just change this small value here, which makes all difference. Let's set this direction spread to zero. And now it looks much better. Let's work with it in this moment in time. So let's cut this with these candles to this moment and apply some curves. Drag and drop on our footage. In red channel, let's make this curve. In green channel, this one. And in blue channel, let's make it yellowish. And in RGB channel, let's add some contrast. Also, let's add some blur. Go to effects and presets. Type in force motion blur and just drop on our footage and let's set it to 300. Now we need to add some solid composite so our color correction would work properly. Just place it above our curves and set it to black and click OK. Here, click on toggle switch to change our mode to screen. And if you want to have a different look of fire, you can go to random seed and change this value by 10 or any other value like this. This looks better. Now let's duplicate this layer. Go to edit, duplicate. Press return on keyboard to rename it. I'll name it smoke and let's make few adjustments. Particles per second we will set to 250. Velocity random let's increase to 20. Velocity distribution, let's set it to 0.5. And velocity for motion, let's set it to 20. Life per second, let's set it to 3 seconds. We need to see our smoke longer. Let's change our size to 50 and change size over life to this preset here. Now let's set our opacity to 40 and opacity random, let's set it to 100. Let's delete this solid composite effect and also this curves, let's reset it. Click on this reset button and let's make this curve right here. Okay, it looks much more like smoke. We can also change our random seed to get different looks. You can download this picture with alpha channel if you are feeling lazy and don't want to learn the technique itself. So just drag and drop on your composition and you will have all of these missiles in place. The cool thing with the linking is that you can change rotation and position. All the fire and smoke will work properly like this. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.